far you get. One? Do you really think I would keep it here? Do you see a cable? A telegraph without a cable is about as useful as a bell without a clapper. I'll give you a bleeding clapper. Well, bless my boots, you're as purple as a plum. <laughs> in shock, my dear fellow. I wonder why no one's taking you from medical college yet. Oh, boy, Good show, Alec. Thanks to you, Evie. Your mere presence gave me courage and resolve I never knew I had. I'm glad I could help. Now it's time to shut down Stark's empire of propaganda. The longer we can keep Staric from spewing out false information, the more we can awaken the people with the truth about his operations. I agree. The sooner we can get there, the quicker we can act. Would you believe my mother says there are still some wives in her street that swear by that superstar? So I took it upon myself to tell her neighbours the truth about the obnoxious draft. That's good, Alec. You can't go round to every household in London town. No, I wasn't always welcome. It shows how false information can be as difficult to stamp out as fishwives' profanities at Billingsgate. Or oh, vermin at Smithfield. But if we can eradicate the source that continually feeds such detrimental trash, then little by little the truth will take the upper hand and the sham will be flushed out. That's why we're here. We will have to get in without being detected, my dear. I shall stand them while you get inside. I shall destroy not one, but the parts of the transmitter. You'll be as good as dancing before a public toilet. Easy now. Come on. to say the least. Oh. Ha! Got you, you little bugger. Ooh. Murderer! We'll have to cross over here. You're embarrassing me. I vote for Tooth. There. 
Move faster if you can. I'll find you. That's the creepiest woman I've ever seen. My dears, Jacob, Evie, thanks are once again in order for supporting what is most dear to me and to our cause, freedom of speech. It's a blessing that you employ your genius for the common good, Alec. However, I suggest you vacate your workshop. Uh, no need. Not now you've given me sacks full of courage. And besides, what with my little devices, I have all the protection I need. Uh, should you find yourselves with a moment to spare, do drop by. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. So you're getting out from. Yeah, I can upgrade those. Five, two, four, three, three, two, four. Yeah, obviously it's two, four. 
って。I can't help. Can't help. Mercy. Miss Attaway. Yes, may I? Oh, splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a price. Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. And what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me. We have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. If you'd be so kind as to take the ring. You must understand, I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick fought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do not the kill type. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. What then is your interest in my redemption, Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity that will benefit us both. Do you? Is that so hard to believe? Whatever your intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike out against Milner and Starrick. I have worked like a troop to make Atway transform what it is today. That's... Keep moving. Yeah! Yeah! I can't lose another bus! Malcolm Milner, Starrick's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the Outway Depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it. Yeah, <laughs> 